This week's featured striker, as I'm sure you know by now, is Alan Brazil. In the latest edition of Strikers, by the way, his old teammate Gordon McQueen has a very interesting take on Alan's career, so try and catch a showing of that if you can. In the meantime, we've got some 1982 vintage Brazil uh, from an Ipswich game away at Coventry. Once you've taken a look, log on to the website, deadgoodsport.co.uk, where you can have your say and cast your vote for Alan Brazil, or indeed any of the 12 featured strikers in the series. First, though, the game. The 16th of January 1982 at Highfield Road with Bobby Robson's Ipswich chasing Liverpool for the league title. Well, the wintry weather has had little effect on Highfield Road itself, a ground which is surely a blueprint for the future. No problem with snow on the terraces, Coventry is England's first all-seater stadium, and no snow on the pitch, the undersoil heating took care of that. But even so, it took tremendous efforts by everyone at Coventry and the local police force to ensure that spectators could get to the ground in safety and on time. So this hastily arranged fixture gives Jerry Francis the opportunity to make his Coventry debut at the start of a month's loan from Queen's Park Rangers. If his career hadn't been disrupted by injuries, Francis could well have been captaining England in Spain this summer, our place in the World Cup finals having been secured by one of his opponents today, Ipswich's Paul Mariner, scorer of that winning goal against Hungary. And it was two goals by Mariner against Birmingham which took Ipswich to the top of the first division. The team is unchanged today, top scorer John Walk having recovered from an Achilles injury. Well, apart from Francis, Coventry City have another player making his league debut, 19 years old left-back David Barnes, and he is one of four teenagers in the 12. Today's referee, John Huff of Macclesfield, just checking with his linesman before setting the game in motion. Coventry City will be attacking the goal to our left, the visitors Ipswich in the white shirts and this a ground where they won 4-0 last season but had a 4-1 defeat the season before that an early opportunity for Coventry's newest player Jerry Francis his experience will be a vital factor in this young side now Osman for Ipswich Gates wanting it played in short but here's Butcher an ambitious ball and a very good one. Brazil is clear and Mariner is onside. And the touch played the ball wide when really Mariner might have had a goal. Coventry stopped and looked at the linesman. And I must say either Brazil or Mariner looked in an offside position. But the flag stayed down. Brazil went on, played that first time cross hard into the middle. And Mariner shopped, took it wide. Ball gets it clear at the second attempt to Thomas. Bad ball straight to Muren, and here's Mariner. Good skill and a good ball to Muren. Gates coming in. And Mills. Oh, that was so close to an own goal by Thomas. What a fine build up that was by Ipswich with Muren and Mariner at the heart of it. When the ball was played into the box, Mills was just about to shoot when Thomas intercepted, and that deflection took it just wide of his own post. Danny Thomas relieved that it's only a corner. Put to the target, and it came off his head, and Ward, almost on the goal line, collides with Blythe, and I think the referee has given a free kick for the challenge on the goalkeeper. But no blame attached to John Walk as that uh, ball was flicked on from the near post following the corner. Walk had to make a challenge then, and uh, indeed the free kick has been given, so it was a foul. David Barnes is Hunt. Oh, the shot by Gillespie was just within inches of bringing a goal. The ball played in from the left by Hunt, and Gillespie very intelligently hitting that first-time ball, clipping it just wide of the Ipswich post. Here's Hendry. That's a good ball for Barnes. And the return to Hunt. Walk again in the way. 
Gillespie's interception, it was unlucky then, it ran off him and a great ball by Brazil, Mariner, Gillespie's got the speed to get back, Gates, and here's Burley, well, a corner came out of it, but uh, that really was superb play by Ipswich with Brazil, so quick to spot the opportunity then with that through ball. Uren's corner then. Butcher's header again. What a superb goal. And once again, John Walk's ability to arrive in situations like that has paid off. A superb goal. His 12th of the season. It all came from the corner by Muren, floated in towards Butcher. The flick across the goal mouth, and Walk came steaming in. There was never any doubt that that would be a goal. Coventry City nil, Ipswich Town won, and John Walk, Ipswich's top scorer, has done it again. And in the first stages of this game, we've seen Walk, the defender, making vital interceptions. Now we see him come through to score a fine goal. His gates. Well, that's a full body challenge. Gillespie. And it'll have to go all the way back to Blythe. So Ipswich applying the pressure well. Space open though for Thomas. Butcher getting up. His walk. Mills. Burley. Brazil again ghosting in behind the defence. Nodding it down for Gates. Brazil. Uren. Chipped in towards Mariner. And there was a very, very strong claim for handball. But much to Mariner's disgust, the free kick has gone the other way. Well, as Mariner climbed then, he claimed very strongly that the defender had handled the ball. But the referee, in fact, said that it was Mariner who climbed on the defender's back. And because he made his case so strongly, poor Mariner, that is, his name will now go into Mr. Huff's notebook. Gillespie. France is taking over. Great ball for Daly. Well, it looked like a good tackle to me. The crowd appealed as Daly went down from a cause challenge. And I'm sure the referee was right. Francis. And again, finds Daly well. The butcher was the wall in the way. Promising looking counter attack led by Brazil. But he's had to hold up and wait for support. Oh, and then he's given it straight to Hately. Hunt's on his left. This is Hunt. Oh, a fine goal! Brazil hangs his head. It was his mistake, but how well it was punished by Steve Hunt. Brazil gave it away. Hately took the ball on. Hunt had taken up an intelligent position on his left. The pass found him, Hunt took it on, and that shot was just out of Cooper's reach. That's 1-1. Brazil acknowledges his mistake, and Steve Hunt celebrates his 10th goal of the season. He's Coventry's leading scorer. So the home fans celebrate a goal that's given them breathing space with the half-time interval just minutes away. What a fine piece of... Uh, Goal scoring it was too by Hunt, he took that really well. Scored two goals in the last home game here in the FA Cup tie against Sheffield Wednesday. Dyson. Did well then Hunt, here's Barnes. Osman intercepting. Marina. Hunt wins it back. And Francis doing well in the tackle against Ward. Here's Bodak. Thomas on the overlap. Well, Muren knew he had to reach that. And Thomas's cross 
deflected by the Dutchman, gives commentary a corner in the closing minutes of this first half. Haitley got up well, here's Gillespie. Great save by Cooper. And what a delicate piece of skill by Gillespie. As the corner came over, it skidded off the heads to Gillespie. He could have blasted it, he chose the delicate chip, and Cooper pushed it over. Another corner. Cooper again, supreme. And he had a poor Mariner in the way. Good goalkeeping that by Cooper. Ipswich again, happy to build from the back with Osman. That's the half-time whistle, and everyone in this ground will be delighted that Coventry made efforts to get this game played. It's been a very entertaining half. Hunt, the man who brought Coventry back into the picture with that goal, his tenth of the season. Walk, who scored that brilliant, spectacular goal to give Ipswich the lead, his twelfth. Brazil, who's looked good in attack, made the mistake which let Coventry in for their equaliser. And I, for one, am looking forward to the second half. It's been an entertaining match, this. Half-time, Coventry won, it's Rich Town won. The team sheet for today. The match was so hastily arranged that Coventry didn't have time to publish a programme. But when they look back in years to come on the big freeze of 81-82, that piece of paper, I'm sure, will be a real keepsake. So Ipswich now attacking the goal to our left, and very much the team for goals these days. Four of their six successive wins have been by 3-2 margins, and there have been enough opportunities in this game to suggest that we might be in for another high-scoring match. Well, the attendance, 11,719, disappointing, and when Coventry have made such a fine effort to get the game played, it's a pity that the public didn't respond in greater numbers. And now Francis... Here's Barnes. Hendry. Hakeley's header. Here's Daly. Daly still. What a brilliant goal by Jerry Daly. Superb. Hakeley lifts his fist high. The crowd lift theirs as well. And well might they celebrate. Jerry Daly did so well. As the ball came in from the left, Haley deflected into Daly's path. It looked as though the opportunity had gone when his first effort was blocked, but spectacularly, Daly got the second shot well on target, and Coventry take a 2-1 lead. So, Jerry Daly's fourth goal of the season lifts Coventry City from a one-goal deficit back into a 2-1 lead. Brazil was offside as Gates flicked it through. Less than 12,000 here, but they're making a lot of noise now. As Coventry, who've lost three league games in a row, take the lead against the first division leaders at Twitch Town. Dyson is calming things down. An old head on young shoulders. An England under 21 international Dyson finding another one, Danny Thomas. Calls interception. Here's Butcher. Walk. And Ipswich, who have got games in hand on most of their rivals in the first division, realize more than anyone that they're no good unless you win them. So they'll be looking to keep going forward here. 2 1 down. A game they'll want to take at least a point from. Here's Gates. Butcher, Gates again, McCall, strange that that goal came when Ipswich were enjoying just such a period of possession, but here go Coventry with Hunt, Haitley calling for it on the right, played through for Gillespie, Cooper was quick, now Mickey Mills, Mariners wide on the right. Here he is. Walk. Gates. Mills got the header on. Brazil reaches it. Now Gates. Good effort. Fine save. 
Well, what a lovely few seconds of football that was. The shot, as it came down to him, dropping was hit first time by Eric Gates. And Blythe, again with a crowd of players in front of him, did well to get down quickly and flick it wide for a corner. So, Ipswich tried to retrieve the situation with Muren's corner. Away by Dyson to Gates. Good effort again! And there is a live action replay. Again it was Gates, and again it was Blythe at the heart of it. The same two that had led to the corner, and the same effect, though not even a corner this time, as Blythe stopped Gates' shot directly. Well, he had to hold up, really. The crowd are uh, screaming at him, but he had no support. Turned on by Daly. Glorious ball. And this is Bodak. Dangerous this for Burley. Henry. Barnes. Hately got up well, but not as well as Butcher. Mills gets it up to Marina. He's on his own a little bit. Brazil is joining him. And again, Burley making a run from the back. But here's Mills. Gates. But well, he can hit them from here. But Barnes stood in the way. Brazil turning. Gillespie still with him though. Oh, that's fine skill by Brazil. A dangerous cross as well. Still Brazil. Thomas he was who got it clear, but here's Gates. And now Muren. Fine goal by the Dutchman. And Ipswich Town's persistence pays off. 81 minutes gone. And Arnold Muren finds the corner of the net. Brazil and Gates both involved in the build-up there. Thomas made one important clearance, but Ipswich had so many men forward that it broke for them, and Muren picked his spot and picked it well. 2-2. So, Coventry, who have kept coming forward even when they've had a 2-1 lead, will, I'm sure, continue to do so, so we could still have a dramatic finish. Here's Thomas. Now Dyson. This is Bodak. Done well. Burley's head up. This is Hunt. Good tackle by Butcher. And did it go off him or did it go off the attacker? It went off the attacker. That's a goal kick. Applause for Jerry Francis, his first game for several weeks, so not surprising that he's feeling the pace a little bit of how well he played. And on in his place comes Peter Hormanschuk for his league debut, a fullback. His name, incidentally, comes uh, from his father's native Ukraine, but he was born here in Coventry. Dyson's header. Daly. Now Walk and McCall. And knowing these two sides, neither of them will be content to settle for one point when the target of three points is very visible. And there's a little nudge then, I'm sure, by Henry on Mills, which has given Ipswich a free kick. Coventry will forgive me and remind you that uh, Ipswich have won four of their run of six successive wins by a 3-2 margin. Early to Mills. A lot of players in the middle for him. Gates! Great save! Mariner gets the rebound in and it's 3-2 again. So unlucky though, Blythe. 
The free kick played out wide to Mills. His cross found Gates. His shot was knocked clear by Blythe. The rebound fell nicely to Mariner. Even then, Blythe was a bit unlucky, but Mariner gets his seventh goal of the season, and Ipswich are back in the lead. 3-2. Well, this fixture over the last two seasons really has pr produced some goals. 4-0, Ipswich won here last season. Coventry having won the previous season, 4-1. And now another five goals today. And I wouldn't bet that it's over yet. And you have to feel a little sorry for Coventry. Here's Thomas. Feel sorry for them at this stage, but who knows what's in store. In a very eventful game. Here's Holman Schuch. Thomas. Gillespie. Good ball for Hately, that. But away by Osman. Now Gates. Kept going, but kept going into trouble. Holman Schuch. Daly. Thomas. Holman shook again. Good ball for Haitley. And it nearly reached Daly. Butcher with a vital clearance. Here's Gillespie. Thomas, everyone bar Blythe in the Ipswich half, Thomas again, nearly opened up for him, could still, Bodak, turned in towards Haightley, Butcher away, and uh, just couldn't control it then Henry, just five minutes to go, Mariner, will his goal be the winner, that's a great ball but Walk is offside, and he certainly was offside, but uh, you can't blame Mariner for that. It was a lovely through ball that found him. Dyson's free kick. Um, header away by Butcher. Dyson again, though. Barnes. Thomas, Hormanchuk is unmarked on the right. There he is. Dyson. Turned on by Hunt. Gates now for Ipswich. Muren running into trouble. Bodak has it. Here's Hormanchuk. Gates. Brazil wanting to play forward. Oh, and it's broken for him off Gillespie. Has he the calmness to control it? He has indeed. A superb goal by Alan Brazil. Three minutes to go, and that surely has clinched it for Ipswich Town. Blythe angry, and it was Gillespie's mistake which led to the goal. The ball played forward. It looked as though Gillespie, who's played so well, had it under his control. It broke away. Brazil went on. It was still difficult for him, but he kept his head well and found the net. So, Coventry City 2, Ipswich Town 4. For the second successive season, Ipswich score four goals at Highfield Road. And it's surely all over now for this young Coventry side. They'll keep going, though. Here's Hunt. Thomas. Horman Chuck on the right. And as Chucky to his teammates, far easier to say. And a good ball too for Henry, but uh, Ipswich now just that little bit quicker to the ball. Spectators on their way home, disappointed, these Coventry fans, but not disappointed in the quality of a very good game. It's a fine throw out that the umpteen time Burley has got forward here's Gates we're into time added on for stoppages now as Walk wins it
Tyson going through the motions now. Coventry know they're beaten, and there's confirmation with the final whistle. So Ipswich Town win their seventh game in a row, stay on top of the first division. A smile of satisfaction from Bobby Robson, applause for his players, a game in which they were given plenty of anxieties by a very spirited Coventry City side, a young team whose day will surely come in the future, but they were really shown how to finish by Ipswich Town, who look on this kind of form very, very impressive indeed, and will take some stopping in the race for the championship. Final score, Coventry City 2, Ipswich Town 4.